Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here home. Here we have Alejandro. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> and here we have Alejandra. Say hi. A sweet. Sí, hola. Sí. Ah, sí. Hola. There we go. <laughs> so I'm currently feeding Alejandra. She's eating rice with sausage. Here we go. Love it. Mmm. She loves it. Spiky. Spiky. Alejandra is eating and I am waiting because I am going to be cooking for you guys today. You guys have been requesting a cooking video for so long. So I'm going to do pasta today. Um, Pasta I think is like, it's like super easy and it tastes like super good. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing pasta every time I cook and I post it on my Instagram. You guys always like, oh my god, can you do a cooking video? Can you do a cooking video on this? So I've decided... I've decided that I'm going to add like like a segment to my channel of cooking. Um, I don't know how often I'll be doing it, but yeah, I'll be doing it like pretty often. I'll try to do at least like every like, I don't know, every two weeks or something like that. So yeah, um, comment down below any like specific food you guys want. <laughs> you guys want me to like show you guys like how I do it. You know, I'm not like a, like a chef or anything like that. So yeah. Yeah, so we just came back from Publix. I didn't get off. I just, you know, was in the car with baby Ali. And we got some things that I needed for the food today. And yeah, so. I just finished giving Ali a bath. Ali, you want to say hi? The hola. Let's see. Hola. Hola. The hola. Okay, so I just finished giving her a bath and she's here with her duck. This is like her favorite toy right now. Her favorite color is yellow apparently because she everything that's yellow, she loves it. And today, guess what? Ale is 10 months! Ale, you want to say you're 10 months? Ale. She's waving at you guys. <laughs> so she's 10 months officially, which is crazy because like her birthday is like in no time. So yeah, 10 months. Let me put her in her little play yard now so she can watch TV. Her TV time for the afternoon. So, you know, I could cook and eat um, peacefully without her like crying and stuff like that. So yeah, now we're gonna start whipping it up in the kitchen. Started, this is all you're gonna need like there's that's all you're gonna need for the whole entire meal So you're gonna need ground beef if you don't use ground beef you can use ground turkey if you want But okay, you need like a, a pound or a pound and a half Then you need a box of pasta whichever style. I just prefer this one Then you need bell peppers half of each an onion lime garlic you need some sort of tomato sauce. I use this one. And then cumin, complete seasoning, salt and pepper. That's all you need. Honestly, one of the best things about this food is that you only need a one pot for the entire meal, which is awesome because you only have to like clean if you do the dishes once or if you like have a dishwasher or whatever. You only have to pick up one pot, which is amazing. Put the heat on medium and I just pour or dump in the ground beef. So once that's in, you're gonna go ahead and come in with your seasoning. I do around like a teaspoon of salt. And I just go ahead and sprinkle some black pepper on top. I just usually like cover the top very lightly. I do the same for the cumin. I just go ahead and cover it like the top very lightly. And complete seasoning, do the same thing. Okay, this is how it's looking right now. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to heat up. And cut your lime and pour it on top of your beef. Okay, 
Okay, so while that's heating up, we're gonna go ahead and chop up all of our peppers, onions, and garlic. should be cooking go ahead and just like stir this a little bit like your bell peppers the whole mix and pour it in there and let's go ahead and leave this cooking on medium for around five minutes in five minutes let's go ahead and mix this Add your sauce it doesn't matter if your ground beef isn't fully cooked because it's gonna cook with the pasta since we're doing it in a whole pot so this is the big jar I'm gonna be using half of this since you know it's way too much to use the whole thing so let's go ahead and pour this in do half of the big jar if you have the smaller one you could do the whole thing add about a cup of water add your box of pasta beginning of the video i forgot to mention <laughs> one of the most important ingredients which is cheese um you can use any cheese you want i'm gonna be using this one um but yeah let's go ahead and add two slices of cheese for now and then at the end we'll add more cover this Put the heat down to low, let it simmer for about 18-20 minutes. Pasta is cooking and I personally today want to add bread to the food. I don't always do this, but today I'm going to do it. So if you want to do it, um, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to do I get a slice of cheese. You can use whichever type of cheese you want. And I put it in the middle of the bread. Once the cheese is inside, you're going to get some butter and put it on the top of the bread. Now you're gonna get your chopped up garlic and pour it on top of the bread. Your oven is ready, pop it in. And we're gonna leave this here for five to 10 minutes. 20 minutes since we put it in there. So let's go ahead and check it out. by now your bread should be ready look at that nice and toasty okay guys so place are served mine's Alejandro's so Alejandro tried the bread <laughs> And I'm opening my banana. Yeah, he can't eat without a banana, guys. Like nothing. Like yes, pasta. Even pasta. Yeah, even breakfast. Like that's crazy to me. Okay, I want to see his opinion. Like honest opinion. Mmm. It's no be for real. For real? It's good as hell. <laughs> Look at how they have in the back. She's she's gonna eat it but tomorrow for lunch. Plates are cleaned up so now it's time to put Ale to sleep Ale Ale man. Ale? Hi! Good morning! Good morning! So it is the next day and Ale is eating her fruits I put her some there's more over here um, she eats an oatmeal if you guys have any tips um, for a baby that are refusing their bottle so she's 10 months and the doctor told me that she was gonna be refusing her bottle um, because you know it's gonna get to a point that she doesn't want her milk anymore since she already knows what food is and stuff like that so there's days that she takes it 
like perfectly fine there's days that she doesn't like today she didn't want her bottle so i basically do like her oatmeal and i put um her formula in it and you know that's the way she drinks her milk and then i try to like give her as a snack a bottle and then at night but sometimes she doesn't want milk he told me it's fine um to try to get at least 18 ounces every day of milk for her so that's what i'm doing and yeah it's been a struggle with her not wanting her formula but we're almost almost at a year which i had a year you don't have to give her formula anymore which is you know a relief at least so yeah that's where we're at right now so someone cleared the plate we're working on the oatmeal still this is my breakfast with my toast and then over here we got alejandro's breakfast woo, woo, woo. Look how messy of an eater she is. She has an only on her eye. <laughs>